It's, it's me, Kayvon, coming to you from Florida. I have just landed. This episode brought to you by Publix. Publix, for those of you who don't know, is a supermarket chain in Florida. One time it was pretty funny. I went to a Publix and it was at night and the L was uh, out on their light. So it just said Pubix. It said Pubix. I said, oh my God, I don't want to eat there. But the great thing about Publix is if you've never been to Publix, they have sandwiches in their deli. And the sandwiches are like huge for $6.99, okay? So if you've never had a Publix or a Pubix sandwich, you go to Atlanta, Georgia, you're gonna go over there to uh, South Carolina, and they have them in Florida as well. Name other cities you've seen a Publix in, because those are the only uh, states and cities I have seen them in. But that is where I have had those, and I go right to the deli when I get to town, and I have a big, huge, sandwich. All right. Now today we're going to talk about something very serious. I've been in a really bad mood today. I'm going to explain why and you're going to find out. I'll let you be the judge on whether I have any right to be angry or whether I should just get over it. But first I'm in Miami tomorrow night. Get your tickets now. San Francisco, Sacramento, Reno, Ontario, California. Yes, that's a city. And then Irvine, California with Portland and Dallas right there as well. Those are all on kvon.tv, kvon.tv. All right, guys, so here's why I'm in a really bad mood now that everybody's kind of logged in. And uh, please tell me where you're watching from in the comments. Just put it in the comments. I posted it on Instagram. I posted it on Facebook. They have shut me down on Facebook for two weeks. You got to ask yourself, Kayvon, how do you have 65,000 subscribers and those were not all free. I put a comedy clip on Facebook and it says, do you want to boost this so more people can see it? You're like, not really. And they're like, for just $40, we'll send it to people in Denmark and Norway and Australia. You're like, all right, well, I'm going there soon anyway. Boom, 40 bucks. Next time, give us $60, we'll send it to the people in San Francisco. Bam, $100, boom. Over the years, I've probably spent $25,000, $30,000 on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, so the model changed in the last year or two where now, because young guys like me that in the game that are not on like Hollywood movies, they're not on sitcoms, you don't turn on your TV and you see me, but most people are cutting the cable, they don't give a damn about their TV, they're going on YouTube like, this guy's great, and my shows were like getting bigger and bigger, like selling out comedy clubs, well Hollywood's like, yo, um, and have you noticed, like I would always cut up my comedy clips and put little clips for free for all you guys. Now, comedians that were on HBO five years ago, Netflix three years ago, they're starting to cut their clip, put it on Instagram for you. Hey, here's me from 2014. Did you guys see this? I can't fault them for it, but they weren't doing that before. They were sitting in the cl clubhouse going, look at the peasants on Instagram giving away their comedy. <laughs> I pity them. Wait, they're getting fans? They're selling out? Wait a minute. Calling up their agent. Make this guy stop. He's not supposed to be getting famous. He's not even in our clubhouse. <laughs> okay, so Hollywood calls Silicon Valley. They go, let's make a deal. How do we shut down these little no-name comics who are popping up, becoming by far the most famous half-Persians in the world? Silicon Valley, Facebook says, all right, Century City, Century Theaters, Fox 21 Century, uh, you know, Warner Brothers, give us $100 million a year for advertising, and we'll start cutting off the little guys. We'll cut them off at the kneecaps. Because look, if Fox is going to pay them $20 million, $100 million a year to promote Kevin Hart, yeah, man, yeah, I was, uh, check this out. All right, listen up. Here's what happened. Okay, <laughs> look at it. Hold up. Don't make me laugh. Stop it. <laughs> okay. They're going to like, yeah, yeah, give us $100 million. We'll put that guy up. One thing we don't want is we don't want Kayvon popping up next to that guy. Because then it's like a conflict of interest. We're spending $100 million building this guy up. Kevin Hart, and here comes Kayvon with more heart. You know what I'm saying? So, every two to three months, I get uh, some sort of email. Your clip has violated this. Your clip harassed that. Your clip offended her. Your clip offended him. The clip is not fair to them. So anyway, the new one that they've done, this is a new one. And I believe there's some people inside Facebook who are picking favorites. Like, shut him down, turn him off. The new one is, your clips are clickbait. That was a shock to me. And it says, see below which clips we have titled 
clickbait. I look below and they're both blank. I said, uh, it says, would you like to challenge this? I said, please challenge this. Take a second look. I don't do clickbait. For those of you who don't know what clickbait is, it's where you title a video like, see President Barack Obama's new speech. But you click on it, and it's a picture of Barack Obama. You click on it, and it's me doing comedy at the comedy club. That's clickbait because you're tricking people into clicking. Now, my clips say, see a comedian at a wedding. You click on it, and it's me performing at a wedding. Does that make sense? It's not clickbait. I'm not saying, watch Chris Rock's next special. You click on it, and then boom, you've been baited. It was clickbait. You were baited into watching Kayvon performing at the Ontario Improv on September 4th. That is not what I'm doing. I'll post something like, you guys, I just got back from Bangkok. Check out a video. And it's a video of me in Bangkok. So, this is a letter I got from Facebook. I woke up. You know, you just wake up in the morning thinking, ah, it's going to be a good day. (laughs) Get your phone. What? You've been shut off on Facebook for clickbait. Wait. And it says, here are two examples of what you did wrong. They're blank. So I clicked, please appeal the decision. They say, we'll get back to you once we've done a more thorough investigation. Within five hours, yes, we are confirming that you are doing clickbait. This case is closed. You will not see any further views on your channel. Basically, they said, we're going to throttle your channel. We're going to turn your channel down so people don't see it. Because I have 65,000 friends on Facebook that have been following me over the years that in many ways I've paid for. I've found them through touring, flying to cities, losing money on gigs, going to Seattle, going to Vegas, going to Denmark, going to Norway. It costs a lot of money, but it's like, yo, I'm meeting people and they all come to Facebook. And then when Facebook shuts you down, like, nah, we're going to promote these four idiots, not you. You're like, dude, you just took my business away from me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not here to complain. I'm just telling you what's going on. You can see the post. If you write, Kayvon, your live brought me here. This is BS. Then I'll know people are kind of seeing this. Um, But they're throttling me. So 65,000 people. If you had 65,000 people like on an email list and you send out an email, you expect 10% to see it. So maybe 6,500. Maybe if it's not a very good email, 5%. 3,250. Okay? Did that in my head. Okay. But when you have 65,000 and my views used to be at the million mark, 800,000, 200,000, 100,000. The smallest videos I had were at 25,000 if I released it on a Friday night while you guys were all getting drunk, partying, hanging out, babysitting. And I'm over there releasing a dumbass video on a Friday night. So what you want to do is release it. Ironically, you release videos while people are at work. That way you know they'll watch it. Does that make any sense? Friday night, Saturday night? Nah, that's just for us. That's our night to party. But while I'm at work, Kayvon, I will watch the hell out of your video because I'm clocked in, getting paid to laugh at your clips. So I will release my videos on a Tuesday afternoon, a Thursday afternoon, a lot of views. However, now my videos get 30 views. 40. I just released a hilarious video. I don't know if you've seen it yet or not. Go on my YouTube. YouTube seems, and they always change places. Like Facebook is tripping, but YouTube's cool. Then YouTube starts censoring you, and then Instagram's fine. Bottom line is Facebook owns Instagram. This is never going to get better. I need your guys' email addresses. If you will send me your email address, you could either leave it in the comments, or that's kind of public. So why don't you do this? Send me a direct message. Just, Just your email. I don't need anything else. I'll just copy, paste. If you write, hey, Kayvon, here's my email, then I got to copy, cut, paste. Just your email, copy, paste, copy, paste. That way, the day I get shut down and this is all over, you're not going to be like, where is he? I send one email a month. Usually comes with a free ticket to my comedy show because you guys are helping me stay afloat when it feels like the 800-pound gorilla of the industry is just coming after you. And I'm just like David and Goliath. I got my little slingshot. I'm just whacking them across the nose. They're like, damn, this guy's making people laugh and we didn't give him permission. Rah, pow. I just keep knocking them out. Whack. That's what we're going to do. We're going to knock them out. Pow. Give him a little elbow, little little two-piece to the nose. All right. So that's why I came to talk to you guys today. Um, the main reason is I posted a new very funny clip. And it has almost 1,000 views on Instagram and 800 views on um, YouTube. And it has 40 
views on Facebook because Facebook shut me down. What they said is, we'll let your page stay up, but because you're doing clickbait, we're going to make sure that nobody can see your videos unless they actually go visit your page. And how many of you guys, you go through your feed. If something you like comes in your feed, you're like, oh yeah, let me watch his new video. But very few people go online, type in the person's name, jump on the page. I think only my mom and my stalkers are doing that as of now. So I'm going to need you guys to step up, okay? You got to be like mom. You got to be like the stalkers. Type my name in the page, visit it, give it a like. Doesn't matter what you guys do, to be honest with you. Facebook is going to pull their shady games. But the best thing is if I have your email, I can tell you when I'm coming to your town. That's about it. Now I'm going to get back to my Publix. Public. This was a public service announcement. Hey, how about that for a pun? For those of you who don't know, coming in late, uh, I started the video talking about public sandwiches. I just finished a foot long, which means it's almost nap time. And uh, maybe I'll pull an Epstein and just give up on the comedy career because after all, when you're trying to give every single ounce of your heart, your comedy mind, and your money to the business, and they won't help you, well, they're complete idiots. Goodbye, everybody. Totally kidding. That's probably why I get banned. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, I'll see you guys at a future show. And if you put what town I need to visit next, boom, then I'll know where to schedule my tour to go. Later, guys. Peace out. Love you. Salam. Khodafis. Goodbye. Aloha. Mahalo. Adios. Au revoir. Arrivederci. And peace out. Bye.